It's so the first to shoot him outside of London. And it's in Edinburgh. The, the waistcoats. It's like, it's just like you go in and you're like in a different era. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. What, what were we saying about the dishooms and the different dishooms? Yeah, so basically all dishooms in the UK are just based on different epochs of India, uh, yeah. especially Mumbai. And so the one in Edinburgh right here is based on the 1930s. And so everything you'll see is actually authentic. And most of it is actually from the biggest library in Mumbai. Wow. So all the lamps and everything, you can have a look at it and it's authentic. So you know it's original and we make it unique for you guys. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's my pleasure to go. There we are. Shoe Edinburgh. Let's go. Hello. 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 What does that mean? How do you translate that into uh, English? I think the wood is more stronger than you. Oh, wow. okay. The wood is more stronger Zipper. than you. I don't okay. know what this is. This Zipper. says permit room. This is permit <laughs> room. I, I know that much. Permit room, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh. Looking forward to this meal. Oh, oh yeah. I know I've been saying that a lot in these vlogs, but this is the one. Yeah. This is the one that I'm looking forward to. Oh, yeah. So, guys, I'm hijacking the vlog from Hamza. All I can say is uh, take a look at this. Take a look at this. So, there's the decor. We're currently at the basement level, and uh, it's just such an old school vibe. It's like you're transported almost back to the 1930s or the 1950s, the back within Indian India, music. with the typical Indian music, and it's just incredible. Like you feel so look up, looked after here, and. Uh, all I can say is that I absolutely love this place. It's honestly you get you get such amazing food here, and it's just I don't know. There's just something about this room. I don't know. What are your what are your views, Hamza? Everything's just well crafted and well done. Can't go wrong yeah. here. You can't go right wrong. from the music. The the music food. It's just the it's just the whole package. Yeah. The whole package that you get at the shoe. I don't think you can get any. Chai. Else. Oh. The chai. Oh, yeah. the chai. I can't even begin to explain it. It's just a, it's amazing. Just, it is. I'd say it's just the perfect blend of the food being authentic yet adventurous, and the vibe being well. The vibe is just amazing. Right? There we go. And whatever happens, happens now. Nice. Whatever Ooh. happens in this elevator stays in the Yeah, elevator. just make sure you don't slip on the juice. Yeah, just uh, make sure you walk around. On the mango lassi, that's, that's been on the floor. Hey guys, how are you? Hi, good, thank you, yeah. Lovely. Do you know this is the last issue before we clock every single issue? No way. And the full plate will be double that. Okay. But the rest of things are the same. It's just two dishes we don't have at the moment. And we run out of those. Uh, there's the lamb chops and the mutton pumpkin pie. Right? Cool. Uh, All right. Biryani. Potatoes. Oh wow! They're amazing by the way, so good. This is amazing. Chicken biryani, vegetable smoothie, raita, chicken ruby. Oh my lord! <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Brilliant. Brilliant.
to talk about the biryani. I mean, it's the first time ordering biryani, and as a rule of thumb, I don't order biryani at any restaurants, but bloody hell is the biryani good at the shoe. I can honestly say this is one of the most authentic mm. biryanis I've ever had. And yeah. Coming from a place like Dishoom, you won't you won't expect it at all. Yeah. But this is honestly so good. It's amazing. So true. It has like all the flavors in it. Everything. Yeah. Mm. It's not oily. It's proper. Yep. Yeah. As you can see, we're we're making a dent. The aftermath. Completely annihilated it. <laughs> Am I still going? Going to make sure that last little Romali roti is finished. Guys, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say one thing here. I know it's to shoot. I know it's to shoot. And this is a vlog about Edinburgh. But the shoot, honestly, it blows a lot of the restaurants here out of the water. And it's just a fact. It's just a fact. There's nothing really. I mean, the local restaurants here have got to step up the game. That's what I can Absolutely. Say. Absolutely. 100% right there, mate. <laughs> the stuff dreams are made from. That's right. The Dishoom Chai, the house chai, is something else. And there's no better appetite after a good Indian meal than a house chai. Perfect amount of sweetness. Yeah. Perfect amount of spiciness. Yeah. And perfect amount of warmness as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So good. So good. Perfect. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh wow, this looks good. Oh, really? Good luck, okay. German. Probably one of the then, more celebrities yes, here. Definitely, yeah, definitely. The key. Thank Amazing, you. thank you. And nothing goes better than a chai. A cup of chai. I wasn't planning on recording this, but bloody hell, does it taste good? Amazing. Mm. It tastes like really it looks like creme brulee, but it's kheer. So basically, this is kheer, right? Mm -hmm. The way that traditionally the kheer is made in Pakistan is cut cooked in a little clay pot. Yeah. Basically, fine rice, like mm -hmm. powdered form, milk, cream. That and vermicelli rice. And sugar. Yeah. Some sugar. Those are the yeah. ingredients. Same in India. Yeah. And basically, this sort of yeah, it's the same. They've added their own spin. Yeah. But it's honestly, as a dessert, it's so good. It's yeah. like, it gives it a little bit of a more of an extra dimension. Yeah. Not necessarily better than the original. Yeah. Because the original is very difficult to beat. But yeah. this is... This is good. This is they, they've, they've added the 20, They added the 21st century twist to it. They've added it. the twist to it, yeah. They blow torch the top, caramelized it mm. with the sugar. And then you've got the gulab jamun, which we had to break into, but... I'm gonna try it first. Go for it. Oh, <laughs> it's wow. blown away with the flavors today. Wow, so good. Let's try this now. It's not too sweet. Yeah. Perfect. Traditionally, you go to the Indian sweet shops, it's so sweet. extremely sweet, it's just you may as well buy sugar and eat that. But this is honestly so perfectly balanced. And with the cream as well, it just gives it that extra dimension. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, Actually, that's what the I can say. The kheer does not even taste like kheer. It doesn't, it taste, taste, like kheer. It doesn't taste like kheer. Yeah. It's so different, you know? Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Like, Flavors are so perfect. Must, must try. All right, this is what I've been waiting for. This bad boy right here. Oh. Yeah. 
So, what are you, what is your feedback? So good, right? Yum. Yum, exactly. That's the word. Yum. And you wash it down with a cup of house chai. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. This is the stuff. This is the stuff of dreams. After a very, very heavy meal, this is what you need. Go to the shoe menu, bro. That really was an epic, epic meal. Really, really good.